All right, back here at home, all eyes will be on the sky. I mean, with protective glasses, of course, in just five days. We are moving closer to that total solar eclipse that everyone is talking about. Many of you are looking for the best viewing spot and the right viewing equipment, but scientists are super amped up for some other reasons. Paula Tutman joins us from high atop Detroit to explain why. Hi, Paula. Hi, Chrissy. Hi, everybody. Yeah, you know what? Eclipses, we have them. They're around. Yeah, they're absolutely cool when you're able to see them, like you said, with the right protective eye gear. But there's something very, very specific about this particular eclipse. Actually, it's this particular sun that has scientists believing that they're going to be able to unlock some very interesting secrets. So it just looks like the sun to us, but there is so much more to it. The sun actually goes through different cycles. This particular cycle is one that lasts about 11 years in which there are different levels of activity. The sun has a lot of material that's coming off the surface all the time. And so we call those prominences. Sometimes we have mag the magnetic fields on the sun will get tangled with one another and they'll just kind of snap a lot of uh, charged material out into space, and that is a solar flare. And, and that was uh, Dr. Shannon Schmall. She's the director of the Abrams Planetarium at Michigan State University. Sometimes the sun has more activity, sometimes less. Right now, we're nearing its peak activity level, and that's the difference with this particular eclipse from a scientific viewpoint. Heather Futrell is with NASA's Heliophysics Program. Fancy talk for the study of the sun, the planets, and how they interact with one another. Because we're at a period of solar max, there should be a little bit more activity on in the sun's corona. So I'm hoping that, you know, we can see some wisps that come out from around the side of the moon and some other kind of tangled pieces, like maybe some of the magnetic fields to see what's kind of happening at the origins of where your space weather begins in the corona. So there's a better chance than last time that we might get to actually see a solar flare in progress during the eclipse. And she's excited about the eclipse, both personally and scientifically. So first scientifically. This is a really important and interesting process that can directly affect us on Earth. Because the sun is moving into its most active cycle in more than a decade, the eclipse gives an even closer window into the world of the sun. And so the better we can understand those processes and make predictions and understand how that might affect us, the better. And her personal interest has everything to do with how wildlife, specifically birds, will react to this solar eclipse. So I'm going to pay a lot more attention to what sounds they're doing, what their behaviors are like. Hey, where'd everybody go? Uh, you know what, gotta have these. Uh, really, really cool stuff. Stay with us because at 5.30, we're gonna be talking about how everybody, they're looking for these, the right glasses, but also they're trying to figure out why some places are better places than others to view. And we're gonna break all of that down for you coming up at 5.30. I love it, Paula. We'll see you then. And of course, we'll have live coverage for you all day on Monday afternoon on Local 4 Plus and on Local 4. I'm going to Toledo, I'm sure, with thousands of my friends from Michigan.